Recently, I saw an alligator swimming in the Timar Lake, which is very concerning since Carter has a giant koi fish project he's been working on over the last two years. Carter spent thousands of dollars trying to make this the best koi fish pond ever, but it won't actually happen if these alligators and snakes keep eating off a fish. So my goal today is to see if I can capture this thing and put an end to all of it. Guys, I think Carter's telling Steven about the palm monster I saw. Check this out. And Topper. Crap, I think Steven just noticed. I'm gonna have to stay low. I'll get back to y'all later. Are the koi fish safe? Yeah, they look safe. I don't see alligators around. At least, maybe not, I don't know. It's pretty safe. But this is my fear, is the alligator or this pond monster will come over and eat all of Carter's fish. And a phone call from someone that's helping look for the alligator on the lake. Yeah, you better be careful out there, all right? We're lowering the salmon down right now. The game plan today is to try to actually see if we can film this pond monster thing attacking the meat. So we're hanging fish from the bridge right here. And hopefully it just hangs right enough to where we can have this thing jump out and eat it. This is no joke, y'all. We got the salmon in the water right here. You can see it's right there. All we have to do is just sit and wait for this alligator to come, or pond monster, to come all the way down here and bite the bait. You can see it's just barely hanging right there. Hopefully we're able to catch this thing again on camera. I got so lucky the first day capturing this. Like no one would have believed me. I swear no one would have believed me. But luckily I had a little bit of something set. So, what is that out there? Is that anything? And we're now setting up some more uh, meat off the smaller bridge over here. So we have a better chance of catching this thing. At least knowing where it's moving around. But I really hope we capture this again today. That's looking perfect. Yes, yeah, so we got the salmon touch in the water. So now we have two options. One with the salmon touch in the water and one just right above. We'll know if this thing is around here or not. Oh yeah, if an alligator is gonna bite anything, that's definitely the one. Of course, we gotta come readjust this. Y'all can see. Perfect, yeah. And then we can at least see from the dock over there our bait that we're setting up here. So now we have two traps. Hopefully maybe even try to fish this thing out. Palm monster is no joke. We got now live bait sitting in the water. Chunks of meat all over. If those other traps won't catch this pond monster, alligator, whatever you want to call it, this definitely will. And it is a little concerning. I am this close to the water, but I will keep my distance. So where the meat is right here, I am starting to see a few surface area bubbles arising there. Not sure if that's the alligator, but that's why I am waiting right here to see. I, always, I gotta keep checking every trap, make sure everything's all nice and good. Honestly, I think the best trap I have set up right now is this. It's so perfect. And if this pond monster just comes up from there, I'll be able to capture it on camera so easy. I'm starting to see some bubble action right there. Can y'all see that? I feel like we're getting close. Perfect. Another trap secured. Ooh, I just heard a ripple. I'm gonna check our other bait over here real quick. Looks like it's still kind of floating, but it's barely hanging on so the cool part about this one right here is the string is tied to this bat so if the alligator does eat the meat the bat will go crazy we'll hear it and then also probably we'll even see where the bat goes and then we could track this thing down holy crap turtle what wait what is that now heading back to the other side of the team our house because i'm not having any luck right now with where i originally saw it in the front but it might have gone to the back without me noticing, so let's go check it out. Went inside for like 30 minutes. Let's see if the traps are still here. Let's check it out. Okay, that uh, is still good. Let's go check the bridge one right now. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a piece of that one. It's gone. Let's go check it out. It looks like uh, our bait over here hanging from the bridge got eaten away. And we already replaced it with some new fresh chicken down there. Because before, that was salmon. All right, we are dealing with something. So I just got back to the house, and we have someone to help me actually look for this right now. We have Ryan. Sorry, I'm putting my shirt back on. 
Yeah, I know. Well, I know we have important business here, Ryan. Okay. He hasn't even heard what I saw the other day. What? Ryan, I have pond monster footage. I've seen it and Carter saw it. In, here? Yes, in, multiple In people. this lake? In the front lake, but I think it might be back here. So I want you to come with me because I do trust your eyes, Ryan. You have good eyes. So. I, mean, I don't want to get close to it if the pond monster's in there. Well, Ryan, we don't have to get super close. It's just keep your eyes open. It could be really anywhere. Okay. But this thing was huge. Like, the head was this big. What time of day? Uh, it was 11 in the morning. Okay, so it's but, bright out. Yes. I thought they were nocturnal. Well, that's what Carter researched. They are nocturnal creatures, but it's hibernation season. So that's why it's so rare to see them now. But if you see anything, let me know. One, second of all, have you seen anything recently? Well, no, I wasn't looking, though. Do you see that thing on the lake shore right there, though? What that? is that? Yeah. Does that look like anything? Dude, I don't know. I don't want to get near it, though. All right. Then let's You're just... freaking me out, Bailey. Okay. Stop. All right. Let's not go close. Let's actually just go back inside. I thought maybe Ryan could help me just for a little bit, but I guess I was wrong. Set a trap. Tonight? Yeah, why not? All right, any advice if I set a trap tonight? If you're not willing to help me now. Okay, pond monsters, we know a few yeah. things about them. They're yeah. dangerous. Yes. If you're swimming with one, it can pull you under. Okay. And they like fish, raw fish. So if you put like a raw fish or like raw Well, food, that's what we try to do. Raw meat outside. It'll, if you put it on the shore, it'll crawl on the shore. Ryan, did you? Well, I guess he wasn't there earlier, so I can't hold it against you him. You tried it already? Ryan, we were hanging salmon from strings trying to catch this no. thing and it did. Well, two of the baits went missing, but it's not, we can't determine if it was actually the pond monster ticket or not, but. Okay. Any advice for me tonight when I go search for this? Because I was supposed man. to, but I didn't yet. Just be careful. That's, and film everything. I don't know. Flashlight, night vision goggles, anything? Night vision goggles are a really good idea. All right. Well, I'll go see if they have any. If not, then... Flippers? If you, need to, if you fall in, you can outswim it with flippers. Ryan, I'm not going in the water. What if you fall in? I'm not going to fall in. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll take the advice you gave me for now. I appreciate it, but okay. I guess it's... Uh, there's nothing else left to do i'm well, go sorry catch it go find it no i know what i got to do but ryan in the lake, man. you have me uh a little nervous now i don't know if i can do this y'all ryan seems a bit sus i feel like he knows about it but he's just not telling me about it you see him look at What's that, that? What? wait what'd you what you, what'd you see you hear that? You hear that? i hear someone yelling I'm screaming Did someone they... is screaming oh ryan we gotta get to the front Yo, they gotta be getting attacked right now. I think Carter is getting attacked. No way. Yo, quick, quick, quick. Oh, luckily, the freaking front door is open. Well, that one was. Is there anything over here? Ryan, do you see anything? Wait, someone's in. Something's happening in the lake. What the heck? Yo, someone's in the lake. The car's in the lake. Yo, Ryan, what? What's going on? I think some. I think they're trying to. Oh, someone's climbing out. Yo, that's not good. Wait, the palm monster might attack them. Yo. I gotta go let them know. Wait, they're not gonna, no one's gonna listen anymore. Everyone thinks I just make AI fake stuff. At this point, it's gonna be a lesson learned for them. Ryan, I'll try to capture on video tonight. So I've been inside for the past few hours, but 10 minutes ago, I just set up a bunch of traps over down by the lake. Hopefully this will be able to catch the palm monster at night. We're just gonna go take a little peep at the front real quick to make sure everything is nice and solid. Because what I'm dealing with tonight it's gonna be some madness. Let me go ahead and explain to y'all what's going down. I've set up a bunch of traps around the team, around our house property, mainly the lake, just so I can capture this thing on camera. Carter and Steven and Topper inside hanging out where it's all warm and nice. I'm out by the freaking lake making sure this thing isn't causing terror around the team or our house. That's honestly the last thing I want. And secondly, if I do end up seeing it, I have the jet ski right here. I know it's covered up, but we're going to take the cover off pretty soon before we're able to see this thing. And we're going to chase it out in the lake. Trust me, it's going to be totally worth it. Everything's looking nice and good. All right, perfect. We're going to come back out later tonight. I think actually Steven is leaving now with Topper. So it looks like it's just going to be Carter and me here tonight trying to capture this pond monster. Maybe Ryan's still here. Nope, Ryan's leaving. All right, well, it might just be myself tonight.